Progesterone supplement re-review, why it's my favorite anabolic. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do a little re-review on Turkesterone and why it's my favorite anabolic. In the past, I've kind of gone more in depth in the things that I've tried. A long time ago, I tried more strong pro-hormones that were probably in fact um, legal steroids and they were very harsh, they were very effective, but um, I really didn't like any of the side effects and all the stuff I had to deal with. It was something that I pretty much never wanted to try again, especially that it shuts your natural testosterone down. You have all these mood swings. It was just something I didn't need to deal with. But I recognize how important testosterone is, so I was like, maybe down the line I'll flirt with something. But thankfully, up until now, I've been pretty good off my natural testosterone. So this company reached out to me. I think they're Black Forest Labs, and that's the only Turkesterone that I've been trying. My cousin was trying Black Stone Labs, I think. So this is Black Forest. So there's a Black Stone Lab Turkesterone blend, and then there's a Black Forest Turkesterone and Black Forest is the one that I use. They claim that it's supposed to have some extra benefits in how it's extracted and it's supposed to be more potent. So for right now, this is the only one that I would recommend to people and it is by far my favorite anabolic. So when I first got into Turkesterone, um, when I first did the review, I was taking pretty much one capsule a day. Now that's the recommended dosage right there. And right off the bat, I was seeing some major anabolic differences. I was noticing some major increases in strength. I would be kind of plateaued at a strength or at a weight and I could put it, you know, two or three stacks below that. I was also noticing that my size was getting bigger. Like I was working out consistently for like a year, year and a half after the whole pandemic thing got over with. There was only so much size I could get. It's not like I looked small or anything, but I just didn't have size, you know. Once I started taking this Turkesterone, I mean, I just blew up. I looked so much bigger. I started wearing these muscle shirts and like I looked huge. My arms were huge, you know what I mean? So I did see or feel a little bit of shutdown with it. I didn't feel like a hundred percent, but you know, it was so much lighter than something like actual steroids or anything like that. So I would say it caused maybe a 10% shutdown, 15% shutdown of my natural testosterone. But I mean, it was so, so light compared to the benefits that I was getting. And it makes sense because if you look at Turkesterone and testosterone, I mean, they're very similar, like when you look at the molecules compared to each other. And Turkesterone is also very close to ectosterone. Now, you know what's also weird about Turkesterone is I was looking up online and people say that it has all these extra health benefits. Like I'll try to put some on screen, but it almost seems like a superfood. I, I couldn't believe the extra health benefits that apparently it has. So another thing that I really like about the Turkesterone is just the way that my body feels. I don't really feel any pain when I walk or when I move around, everything feels fine, you know, but when I take the Turkesterone, it's like I feel so light on my feet. I feel like, you know, every joint is a little bit stronger. All my muscles are a little bit stronger. And like, I get that feeling almost every time that I take it, you know, I'll be thinking the next day, I'm like, what did I just take right now? Why am I feeling so good? Am I taking like an upper or something? And I'm just like in a good mood. And it's like, no, it's really the Turkesterone. And I think it's just taking care of my body, my joints. And it's just, testosterone is just so good for you naturally. So I think it's, you know, chemically related to that. So I just, honestly, I feel really good on it. To kind of avoid the shutdown, I haven't been taking it every single day. Um, I've actually been trying out this stuff called Chrysine or something. And the Chrysine is supposed to be a natural anti-estrogen. And I didn't want to take any other anabolics while I was taking it to see how much it would help and how much of an anti-estrogen quality it had. So I haven't been taking it as much lately. A few days ago, my shoulder was hurting and I actually injured in the gym. So I had to stop the Chrysine and jump back on the Turkesterone and it totally helped out my shoulders. I felt a lot more recovery. So for me, I would probably take one every other day or every once every three days. I mean, I, I feel it or I see it in my body the second that I take it. So I worked out really hard and then I hurt my shoulder, right? And so there was like, I didn't want to work any upper body stuff for like two days. So, you know, it's like I after two days, I didn't look as big, you know what I mean? So I took the Turkesterone. Again, I was still healing. I wasn't doing any muscle stuff. And I woke up and my arms looked pumped like I just worked out the last couple of days, but it was only reintroducing the Turkesterone, you know what I mean? So for me, I feel like there is some shutdown, there is some 
slight apparently this is supposed to have a libido boost but to me whenever i feel any sort of shutdown i see a little bit of drop in libido so i do think for me personally it does do that slightly but again if you take it one to three times a week if you're a healthy younger guy you know you shouldn't have like little to no shutdown i could have sworn that olympic organizations tested this to see if it had any benefits and apparently it has like none and it's supposed to be like a plant steroid so it doesn't interact with us and I, I could have sworn that like the world anti-doping agency like tried to prove that this has some effects and it had they said it has none well the stuff that i'm taking 100 percent has effects i can guarantee you it has all the positives a little bit of the negatives that normal anabolics do and i gotta say this is 100 percent my favorite one you know if i was gonna say before this i probably would have gone with osterin which is kind of like a sarm which is kind of like almost what you think this would be. It's kind of like a steroid that's been altered to have a lot of the effects of the normal steroid, but then also not replace your normal testosterone. So give you a lot of the strength benefits, but not make your body shut off its normal testosterone. That was what I would have normally said is the best, Osterin, but now I really like the Turkesterone. And I do wanna say that I did get the Laxogenin. I know that's, I'm pronouncing the name wrong, but I have 5A, laxogenin and it is very very strong i almost haven't taken it at all since i first started taking it or when i did the review because it was much more of a stronger anabolic i looked even bigger but then the shutdown was even more so laxogenin i don't know i had so much shutdown with it I've, i already take turkesterone very little as it is so i mean the laxogenin would just be maybe like once a month, once every two weeks, just to give me an extra jacked pump, but I never would want to take it every day because I don't like that shutdown feeling at all. So anyways, guys, turkesterone, I absolutely love it. It's my favorite anabolic. I recommend it to pretty much any male out there who wants to gain some size and some strength. Maybe wait at least until you're like 25 because I do think this has some pro-hormone effects, but... Um, it is fantastic. I love it. I get lots of size, lots of strength on it, and I feel good. And it has a lot of other health benefits. I'll try to put those on screen. So anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.